here. I just wanna let you know I'm a lifestyle vlogger and I'm here to raise my consciousness and kind of just let you know my tips and tricks and secrets, pretty much of everything that's in life to help make it better, stress-free, skin, everything, everything you can think of because life happens and if we don't take care of ourselves, then who's going to? So today's video is going to be about um, looking young and feeling young. And the truth is there's a lot of things I do, but it's still combining with the basic things which I will go through everything. And if you haven't already, which is free, is like and subscribe if you like videos like this. I will um, love to continue showing you because this is what I love and it's genuinely fun for me. So it brings joy. So without further ado, let's get into it. I know I talk too much, but let's try to minimize this and get straight to the point. All right, so. There's three topics I'm gonna to be talking about. It's gonna be your basic topic, your skincare, and your body care. Now I'm gonna be showing you everything I use, and quite frankly, it's been doing wonders for me, and I hope if you stick to it, it's gonna work for you guys. Important message. Message. Do not expect these things to work overnight. I know everybody wants to see an instant, quick, 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 quick change. This is this is working, this is effective. No, it doesn't work like that. Your skin, when you change something, it has to adjust to it. So therefore, you're gonna see different changes in your skin and your body and even in your mental, you know, mental mind and your brain. Like, when you do a change, it needs to adjust to it. So be patient with this kind of stuff because it is your only body. It's your face, it's everything. So let's go into the basics, which the ones that everybody talks about, but I'm going to explain, you know, the things that I add or incorporate into the basics. So the first basic is sleep. Yes, six hours of sleep, they say if you get enough sleep, and if let's say you go to bed early, the next morning it's about like having two cups of coffee. Boom, two, two cups of coffee. You get a burst of energy. Now, there's this one thing I do use and it is called ashwagandha. Now ashwagandha is a powdered root and it helps with A, stamina, which is good for male and female. And it helps with mood boosters and sleep kind of taste. A little bit of the ashwagandha, but mostly of the orange juice. So try that out, it's awesome. So the next one is going to be food. Yes, everybody talks about you eat right, you feel good, you are what you eat. I get it, but I, I love my junk food. And I love certain foods that, yeah, I know they're not good for me, but I'm also taking, you know, it's like a balance. Like, I'm gonna take this because I love this over this one, I'm just gonna let go. For example, I love junk food, I love chocolate, and sometimes there's certain dairy things in chocolate, so I've cut out milk completely. So I will drink soy or um, almond milk. <clears throat> I love junk food, but in order to stay and feel good, I have to limit certain those things. I'm grateful that I'm having a little bit of it, but don't overdo it. Foods, the inside helps with the outside, yes. Therefore, like wrinkles or any other things, you know, even fat or bloat or water retention, that all comes with foods. So I know for a fact, not creams, not moisturizers, not anything's gonna help too much with the wrinkles or anything that's gonna make it, you know, easier on the skin, but fish, you have the omega-3s. Fish is going to bring out um, a better, you know, glow, it firms, but it's, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be patient with these things. Certain beans, nuts, you know, the things they tell you, it's all the same, and yes, it does work, but you have to be consistent with it. Also, water, everybody talks about water. Drink water, it helps, it hydrates, it, you know, plumps the skin. Yes, they're right. I, I'm, I'm water to me is boring. It's, it tastes boring, and like, I even forget to drink water, like, I forget to do these things. So, alternatives is, A, you can put fruit in water, you can put, um, you know, vegetables like cucumbers, you can put lemon juice, which I'm a big fan of because not also does it like 
detox the insides, but put some lemon in there. Put some flavor in your waters. If you have trouble like me, just put flavor. Chop up some, you know, cucumbers, watermelon, um, strawberries, frozen grapes and water, fun. Oh my God, frozen grapes are the best. Now, because I get bored easily with water, now I buy like cute little uh, water jugs or, you know, things that are exciting to put in. So this pink one obviously has like little spikes on the water bottle. So now I'm using my senses as holding something and it's fun and squishy and it's glass. Um, the other one is there's stones in there, which there's a whole new world of water and energy that you can put into water to heal the inside by using frequencies, which we'll talk about that one day. Next is exercise and meditation. Now, I don't care if you go to the gym seven days a week, the one important thing to do is breathe. If you do not breathe correctly while A, you're meditating, while you're doing yoga, while you're exercising, while you're moving your body, while you're even cleaning, there's no effect to that. There's no effect because breathing is the most important. Same thing, that's why I love swimming. swimming makes, there's no room for error with breathing. Obviously we can't breathe in the water. So I get most of my, you know, effects from swimming, losing the weight and getting that because I have no choice but to breathe when I come up for air and hold my breath when I go down and vice versa. So it, breathing is the ultimate secret to getting results on working out, whatever, yoga, the core, everything. So keep breathing. So moving on to topic number two, which is skin. So face is, you get one face, you get one body, right? So why not take care of this? Most important thing I can tell you guys, honestly, like this is so big and so many people like F this up, is just remove your makeup before bed. Like I'm guilty of it too. Like I don't always do it, especially when I had a job and coming home, I'd come home, you know, at like three o'clock in the morning, you know, four o'clock in the morning and I would just be so exhausted. I'd have time to wash my body, but I wouldn't take my makeup off. Take off the makeup. This is gonna do wonders for you guys in the future. And if you are young and if you are listening to this, do it now, like do it. Now, if you use a face wipe, which I used to do, now I know it's taking off makeup, but it's not completely, it's kind of just moving it around. Like that little cloth is gonna take all your makeup off? I don't think so. So you end up using like four or five, which is fine, but it doesn't necessarily take all of it out. My recommendation is baby oil. Take some baby oil, pour it on your hands, lather it up and just put it on your face. Don't let your face be wet, just lather it up. You're gonna see mascara come off, you're gonna see your foundation, your concealer, your everything is going to come off. Then you are going to take one of your moisturizer washes. I mean, if you have a foam washer, that's great, but I, you know, I would recommend a cream wash because it's helping the skin a little bit better. You're not taking off the complete, you know, all the oils from it. Just take a cleanser wash, wash it out, take a cloth, I wash my face mostly in the shower, so I know once I go to take a shower, that's when I'm taking care of my face, because the heat and everything in there. But take a cloth, wet it, wipe it, move it down, wash it in the water, clean it, flip it, do it all over again. If you need to get more of the cream cleanser, put more on. Um, point is that the baby oil will take off majority of all those chemicals and all of the makeup. Baby oil goes such a long way, it's ridiculous. And we'll talk about more when we get to the body. Okay, so remove all your makeup, it'll help you with the skin. Once you wash your face, now you can exfoliate, I would probably recommend at least twice, twice a week. Now I have the Olay scrubber, which I use probably at the beginning of the week. And then towards the weekend, like maybe on a Thursday, if I do Tuesdays and Thursdays, that Thursday, I'm gonna use a scrub that I create. And this is something that everybody has in their home, which is crazy. At least one of the products everybody has, and that is baking soda. If you mix baking soda and coconut oil, make your own little paste, and then just 
put it on your skin slowly. There's no need to be so aggressive with our skins. This is such a sensitive area that we have to also keep in mind that like, be careful. That's why they tell us to use the ring fingers because it's the lightest and it's not the heaviest. So if we're using baking soda, you're just doing circle motions, you're going up on the neck and you're going up on the forehead. So baking soda. For some people, if you have really dark eye, like bags under the eyes or dark, dark circles, yeah, put a little bit of baking soda. The dark circles, what really, really helps with dark circles, which I've been doing for years too, is taking baking soda, coconut oil, and a little bit of lemon juice. So obviously these things will burn if you get it in your eye, so please be careful. But just kind of dab it if you have to. You can use a brush. Again, I like using the hands for everything because it just warms it up and melts out the coconut oil a little bit. And then just leave it there for like a minute or so, not even. And then once you go, rinse it out. Do not use baking soda every day. So after you exfoliate, you have your regular creams. I use the Olay ones. I've been sticking with Olay, freaking awesome, not sponsored, but it helps. It helps a lot. Now I have this uh, vitamin E, it's 32,000 IU and it's thick. It's extremely thick and you just take it and you dab it onto the eyes and because it's so thick, it's not going to drip down your face. So if you want to do it right before bed, let it kind of just soak in and you know trap in that moisture of your original layer and it will just stay there for quite some time and of course vitamin E is really good for the skin use a lot of face masks so but yeah face masks are the bomb and I have so many face masks that I promise you if we ever have a sleepover there's enough face masks for the entire town and if you run out of face masks, you know where to find me. Let's move on to body. Body is just as important as the face. You have to embrace who you are and what you look like. And I, I promise there's things that can help make it better. So for example, in, for your body, when I take showers, I use this brush. Now this brush has two sides. It has a soft side and it has a really rough side. When I use this brush, it helps stimulate, you know, the, the blood coming to the surface. And this is really, really good, especially for cellulite. Um, now cellulite comes in and out, but if you take care of it, it can go away and it can look smaller than what it should be. So obviously trigger parts, like for example, I do have cellulite. It's not as much as it was back then because of this. So if I take that brush and I keep brushing the back of my thigh, it just, you know, you do that as much as you can. If you could do it every day, do it every day. Even if you take that brush and you brush it on your tummy, your tummy's gonna be so happy with you that A, between water retention, between, um, you know, bloat, you're, you're technically moving things around. Like if you have some fat pockets in your tummy or like the muffin top area, like take that brush, use the hard side and just scrub it away. It's gonna, in the beginning, it hurts a little bit because you are not used to that, guaranteed. But once you get into it and you start seeing a difference, you're gonna continue to do it. Do it under the arms, do it on the sides, the back. Mine is a long stick one, so it works really well. Um, okay, so moving on to the next thing. I don't shave with shaving creams anymore. I stopped doing that a long time ago. And shaving, when you're shaving the body, I use for a baby oil. So you can use baby oil in the shower, yes, with water. It, once the razor goes over it, not only is it smooth, but it gets the best cut. And with razors, guys, keep in mind, don't keep using the same razor that you've had in your shower for three months, even four weeks. One month, dispose that razor. Use it three or like just buy disposable razors, use it two or three or maybe four times and then throw it out. Like there's just way too much bacteria that gets caught in there. And if you're shaving, you cut yourself, the bacteria from the razor just gets in there and guys, it's just not, not worth it. 
So, and you get cleaner shaves when you use a fresh disposable shaver. So baby oil, full body shave because I am Portuguese and hairy as Bob. Pour baby oil wherever, under the arms. The shave you get is so close and so fine that it's gonna be the best shave you've ever had in your life. So even like the private area, like for men and women, like you get those really good cuts and that's what you want. Like you're not looking like your hair is gonna be stubbly the next day. No, you want a nice clean shave. And the fact that the baby oil is oil, you're moisturizing the skin while you are shaving, okay? Use baby oil to take up makeup remover. Use baby oil to shave. Like, if I had to pick three things to live with, it would just be baby oil, coconut oil, and baking soda. Boom, done. So another thing that helps is, so between age, you could tell age, yes, by the face, but two things I always talk about. The neck is one, and hands. So people notice hands like they notice shoes, no joke. And if you don't have cut nails, or if you, like you could tell, like it's very important to put lotion on your hands and you know you'll see spots on people's hands you'll see like you can tell almost 40 and my hands still look you know soft just take some virgin oil put it on it's like an organic moisturizer anyway some people put it on their face too I recommend it stress is not pretty because stress will drag you down, but you have control. You do have control, and I think it's time, you know, not to let stress win. Because you will fix the problem no matter what. You gotta take one step at a time, but you gotta take care of yourself first. And listen, I'm guilty too. There have been moments where, you know, I get so stressed out that my insides start to get sick. <laughs> like, I get emotionally sick, which is the empath side of me. Um, but yeah, I'm taking control because this is my life. And this is our time. This is our down here, down here. <laughs> the Goonies, it's fine. Loser. Yeah, take control. Um, use all these things, try them out because it's freaking awesome. I love sharing things that actually work for me. Um, yeah, this is the only skin we get, the only body we get, so let's Let's be on top of it. I take care of the body. I take a shower. I put lotion on my body. Like there's just so many little things like you need to take into consideration to make yourself better. And that's it. That's all I got. So listen, two things that are free in life is hitting those like buttons and subscribe if you haven't already. I want to bring more content like this, especially, you know, to make it easier and better for all of us. And if there's things you know, listen, you know the deal, just let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Just in case I'm not part of the Illuminati, it's just one of these shirts, I love this. Rage Nation, I'm not sponsored at all, but I am a fan of their company. Um, yeah, that's it, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't really like to say that. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. I will try to keep posting Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, a little hectic the next two weeks, but I'm going to make it happen. Show you guys what's in store for us. All right, guys, have an awesome, awesome weekend, and I will see you soon.